Hello everyone and welcome back to the channel. Today we are back on Blackpool Branches with a, n a different Northern Pacer. This one with the Cummins engine. I wanted to do another video with the Northern Pacer. A, because I like it. B, my last video doesn't have any game audio. Yeah. So, we're going to be taking this um, Cummins Pacer down to Ormskirk from Preston Platform 3C. I've already got the, this baby all set up, so we're, we're 30 seconds from leaving. Got the windows open. Hopefully, saloon lights are on. Yeah, they are. I'll, whoops, no, you don't. Uh, where do I, where's the blind click spot? It's really annoying. There we go. I mean, I can say who's behind the door. All right, let's shut the doors. Oh look, there's a 47 with TA tanker wagons. That's a that's very unusual. Right. Oh, release the brakes and get some beats. The next station stop is Croston. Okay, we're going to have to, before crossing, we are going to have to stop at Beach Hall Ticket Exchange in order to get permission to go onto the Orange Curve. Otherwise, yeah, we can't get. I am running a mod that, re, that adds reverb to the Pacer horn, so. Power. Already got the destination blind set, all the stuff set. We are going. We are good to go. That's it. Another bouncy ride today. Oops, I just did, didn't mean to sound the horn there, that was a misclick. Alright, AWS is probably going to be parking here. Because we have to go through the school. We buy a signal RD14, so. That 47's heavy, actually, I have to wait for us. Zoom it all the way to the thing by this point. Excuse me. yellow. AWS actually going off there. There is a bit of a bug with the AWS where it actually doesn't go off sometimes, so I, at least that's my impression. I go past yellow signals and the AWS doesn't go off, so I don't think anyone else has really noticed this bug, so I'm not sure. Let's have a look at that 47. Is he going? No, he's not. He's still there. Alright, we are having to slow down to 20 miles an hour. I wish, we, I wish we had a, a West Coast mainline route in TSW with the Avanti of an Avanti or Virgin 390 Pendolino and hopefully a new freight locomotive, not the uh, not the overused Class 66. All right, so AWS again. go. 6 p.m. but you wouldn't know because it is. It, it, I have set it to, um, um, what was that called? Um, summertime, so 20 miles an hour and notch one, just try to maintain the speed here. 20 miles an hour, shutting over. Two tracks go. Oh, they loop around it. It goes around. Boing, boing, boing. Oh, gosh, look at that. We're bouncing. 
boy. boy. <sighs> Alright, we can go up to 60 and then 70. So. Pacer. Just trying to do a superb job on this route. Truly superb. It's. I love the interactability on this thing, honestly. I love the announcements. Everything about this route is just so good. It's my favorite British route of all time, for sure. Go up to 70. I'm into second gear. I haven't been on the Orms Cut branch in a while, not since I did my first look video of this route, so hopefully I remember what things to do and not do. Look at us go. Zoom in. Get a good photo here. Why not? Where are ya? Wait a second. Is that like no wrong end? Haha. -ha. I'm so I'm so good. There we go. Unfortunately, farm crossings aren't simulated, so in real life, a, a farmer has a little phone booth next to the crossing gate, like here? Yeah, like here. Um, shut the windows. Um, So in real life, a farmer has a, t a telephone box. Oh, a red signal. Hmm. Step one on the brakes. It is the signal that we have to go via, so... Right, I need to slow down. ASAP. A farmer would take the telephone, but take the telephone out of its booth, um, call up the call up the signalman, and then the signalman would make adjustments. But I think that's I, but that's not simulated in game. I like the doors of Pacer livery. It looks great. This isn't crusted, is it? Oh, so here's the bitch hall. Oh, good thing I slowed down. Here's the bitch hall token exchange. We are going to have to get a token. So I'll open the window. <laughs> Here's the Mitch Hall level crossing. Whoops, I just put it actually put it into the emergency. Alright. Token check. And off the bark. Zoom in. There's the bloke. There's the token. There's the level crossing. Here's the Mitch Hall level crossing. Does it ever go up? Some of the crossings are animated, some aren't, so it could be interesting to see whether this crossing actually goes up or not. No. Oh wait, there we go! There we go! 
Nice. All right. Next up. We'll shortly be arriving at Croston. Gated crossing there, nice. You can tell the Ormskirk branch was originally, was originally built for two tracks. And you can, and there's really nice clutter, and it looks so great, I love it. I've got dynamic weather turned on, so we might start getting some interest in some typically British um, summer weather in a bit, i.e. rain. Downhill all the way to Worms Cup, so. Yeah, i not sure one should maintain their speed. Pointless. The next stop is Boston. I love the announcements. That wasn't even going to be a function that just trains were going to have on this route, but the guy who did the nameplates for, um, um, the 47 for this route also did the announcements just as a little function. Just trades didn't even ask for it. He just included it as a freebie for them. Is that a signal? No. That's another farm crossing. Got the power. Step one. That's one of the longer runs you have. Pacer. So we have Croston, Rufford, Bruce Conjunction, and Wolfskirk. So, not many stops. Certainly a lot less stops than the. Um, what was it? Um. Uh. Blackpool South Branch. I just can't wait. there. Okay, come on, slow down, slow down, slow down, slow down, slow down. Emergency. Alright. This platform looks nice, dude. Alright. I wanna have a look at this. There we go. Here is Froston. Oh, wow. This is definitely one of my, one of the better stations. On the route, gingerbread. Come here, buddy. You're mine. No collectible sign over here. Well, you've got to go, but... Oh, route map. Come on. There we go. Oh, I can actually walk up. Oh, golf clubs. Check. Alright, let's get going. Wait a minute. This is platform two. Well, no, that is actually the car stop. I, we, we, we shot past our... All right. Next stop, Rufford in 2.6 miles. I like the wiper animation. And the sound is pretty good too. I'm so glad we have the pacer. This this train actually makes me want to get the West Cornwall loop. Oh! Well, the other, I, the other side is, I'm glad that that's not detailed, because otherwise, that would be, um, it would probably, my computer probably would be able to run it. But, this is, as I was saying, this, the, the pacer makes me want to get the West Cornwall local route, because Just Trains collaborated with Rivet Games, I know, and, um, R um, Rivet basically layered the pacer onto all the timetable services. So basically, the train you get in West Cornwall Local is the not so is the terribly modeled Class 150 Sprinter. Not. Why did I just call it a Sprinter? It's the Class 150. I don't remember what nickname it has. But if you um, but the Pacer layers onto all the 150 routes. So 
Yeah. And there is quite a good sound mod for it on the Train Suit Community website, so I'm torn. Do I want the West Formal Local? And the destination board also has all the destinations for, um... For, um... For West Cornwall Local, and with Blackpool branches, you get the Cornish Skipper livery. So, oh gosh, it's hard. I I don't know because West Cornwall Local itself is such an awful route in itself. All right, there are millions of farm crossings on this route. Uh oh, we do have a 15 minute coming up, so. <laughs> It's got the throttle. Alright, let's put step one on the brakes. Because we do have to slow down. Let's put st actually put step two on. I love how the also how the announcements are done in a proper North Country accent. That's brilliant. Alright, come on, step one. Alright, let's release the brakes. Actually, a minute late, probably because of the th of the messing about Troston, but I don't care because I'm having fun. And it doesn't the point system doesn't um, doesn't penalize you for bad drug. It doesn't penalize you for being late, which is interesting, shall we say? Okay, green signal coming across this little bridge here. Look at that. That's gorgeous. <laughs> Pace are looking good. Alright. Right. We're almost two minutes late. Alright, we do have a gated crossing here, which is actually animated, which is really cool. Like an, a proper old style gated crossing. And I actually just found this out. If you, the get the gated, cr what am I saying? The um, the class forty seven has some light engine runs along this line, which is pretty cool. All right, all right. There's a collectible. Nice. Alright, so we have a 15 limit coming out of here, and then we stop at Bruska Junction and Ormskirk, and we have 11 minutes till we're supposed to be at Ormskirk. getting dark soon I'll probably turn the cab light on and the vestibule light can also come on as well. As soon as we get back onto the main line you get up to 70 which is great. Wait a second what's that? I spy something that I haven't seen before i.e. Oh yay! I've oh yeah, I remember this. I think I've seen, but sh shared this in a video before. But that's a really nicely detailed lock. Nice. Bits boats are a bit plain, but since you're supposed to see it from the line, like over that direction, I'm not surprised that they haven't put a lot of detail in there, just enough to make it really interesting. And just to provide more version, is what I was going to say. We will shortly be arriving at the first good junction. We will shortly be arriving at the first good junction. 
All right. Power to uh, power into the pacer. I love the pacer. Best train in TSW at the moment. Unless Union Workshop. Haha. <laughs> and Union Workshop. Uh, no, not Union Workshop. The train guy four, who's he? Train some monkey chipper. Check him out, he's pretty good. Um, recently did a video on what he thinks Union Workshop's Japanese route is going to be like. Just speculation, of course, there's been no leaks or anything. But if it's true, if, it, if that's going to be it, it's going to be the Wakayama and Sakurai lines. The yes, you we've already got that route in TS Classic. Yeah, it's probably, I really hope it's going to be a good route because. I, Union Workshop's products so far are generally pretty spot on and are really, really good. But I really hope TSW like really kickstarts them. Um, the Train Guy 4 estimated that the release date of the route is going to be in the second or third quarter of 2024, but no confirmation, official confirmation yet. And not even any news of what the route is even going to be, so. Hopefully, by the time the December um, the December roadmap comes out, we'll know. First conjunction. Oh man, the immersion on this route is so nice. Step two on the brakes. Just went another over another railway line. I don't know what that if I, I don't know what that railway line is. If you could tell me what it what it is, I'd greatly appreciate it. Right. Step three. The brakes on this thing are really nice and release really quickly. I think that's what I prefer over about this about the pacer over the six two eight, it's German DBBR six two eight, it's German counterpart. It um has a Hey, we're actually early. We were two minutes late at Buffer, but now we're at Burst Conjunction. We're actually early. Nice. Um, yeah, the 628. The brakes take ages to release, and there's not really any fine-tuning you can do with this. The brakes release almost instantly, and it's real nice. Alright. Okay. Step one. Alright. Alright, all aboard. Four arms cook. Um... See what? Oh, we're yeah, we're letting up passengers so fast. I don't think we'll need to. All right, next stop is Oomskirk. We're rolling backward, and I can't do anything about it. Okay, there we go. The next station stop is Oomskirk, where this train terminates. All right. Here we go. All right, not too much farther to Wolf's Kirk, and that'll be the end of the service. Re really realistic rattling, rattling sounds from this thing. It's so nice. I probably wouldn't like to ride this thing in real life, but but I probably will at some point because somewhat like 35 pacers have been preserved out of 94 ever made, which is insane. Like, if you know of any one, if you know of any one type of train that has more units in preservation than the Pacer, please let me know down in the comment section. I would be 
greatly appreciative of that. And, yeah. Why were the Pacers preserved anyway? Because the infamous Pacer bouncy ride quality was just be off the charts bad. So, uh, it's, I, I don't know. Six miles to Ooh. Wait a second, was that a like a quarry yard or something? Cows. Um oh nice! With a proper crane fr with a proper shovel from the era. That's so cool. Two of them. That is so cool. We are going down to one mile to Wormskirk. The next station stop is Wormskirk, where this train terminates. To cut the throttle. We do have a 15 in the mix. I might as well just let the RPM fall away. AWS. I don't know why it went off because there are no signals on this section of line. Maybe it was something. Maybe that was. Maybe that's realistic. Who knows? I'm not sure. Maybe it's telling the driver instead of paying attention to a signal, you should pay attention to the upcoming 15 limit instead. Come on. Just slow down, buddy. Alright, we are. Well on schedule for for Holmeskirk. I think the only thing I regret about uh, Blackpool branches is the lack of a class 507 electric multiple unit. Whoops. At Ormskirk and as AI at Ormskirk, and then the lack of a class 87 at um at. Preston for West Coast Mainline AI, but since you wouldn't have any drivable services, I'm not surprised they didn't model. Easy does it, pal. Ormskirk. Alright, here we go, coming into the very lovely station of Ormskirk. I've heard that since since nineteen eighty six the station has been totally rebuilt, but don't count me on that one, I'm not sure. The next stop is where this train terminates. All right, tail lights on. Whoops, I just turned them off. Uh, tail lights on. All right, all I have to do is load up the passengers. So what I'll do is, because of the outside functionality, I'll just press this little thing here. No. Ormskirk is such an... It's actually a really nice place. Honestly. Uh, let's see if we can... See if we can go in here. Nope. Nope. We can't go in the old station building. Ah, that's annoying. There's the third rail for the 507. If I was standing on that in real life, it would... Uh, really electrocuted me at this point. Luck doors. Oh. It just locked those! Do oh, darn it. Let me oh, dang it. 
Uh, I think I've made this mistake before. If I just sit down here. Come on, let me shut the doors. Oh no. Because I've got that panel open. Now it should work. Oh, it's actually beating to the rain. Let me shut the doors. Why are you... Oh, for goodness sake. Oh, it's probably because I've got the master key on in two ca two locations. Come on. All right, I'll go to the guard panel. It's nice how if the All right, that should work. Please work. Yes, finally. Okay. And that is where we are going to end it for today's video. Yay, Platinum Metal. Thank you so much for watching. Don't forget to like and subscribe. And I will see you in the next video. Goodbye.